Tom, you're alive. That's the great Tom Selznick. Tom Selznick, the new Rachmaninoff. If only he didn't choke. It's a classic thriller. It reminds us why we love movies. Hey, hey, hey. Very funny. I'm gonna scrap Norman. I know it. Grand Piano tells the story of Tom Selznick, uh, most probably the, the best piano player ever. Congratulations. The whole place is packed. That after five years being retired from the stage because of a terrible case of stage fright, he finally makes the step and, and sits down right in front of the piano to play one of the most complicated pieces ever written in history. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Selznick. His surprise is monumental when he finds out that somebody has written down a single line that says, if you miss a single note, you'll die. It's a movie that once it starts, it doesn't stop. It sort of feels like I'm being shot out of a cannon. Now you know the meaning of stage fright. Call for help, and I will hear it. Get a guard involved, I will know it. If you do any of these things, your wife will die. Play a wrong note, and you will die. Getting a chance to work with John Cusack was extraordinary. Of all the names that we consider in this short list of uh, bad guys, John Cusack was my favorite one. I'll give you all the money I have. I don't want your money. Then what? I want you to play the most flawless concert of your life. It's not only nice to make a film in which a few characters get killed dead, in that it's how they're killed. The deaths themselves, there's a sort of art to them. And it's masterful. It's so beautiful and so perfectly timed. Working with Eugenio was, a, was an absolute gift. It's not often you see someone use the language of cinema in this way and evoking something that we haven't seen in a long time. What are you waiting for? In the 50s and 60s and 70s, it was commonplace for filmmakers to make thrillers. Obviously, De Palma and Hitchcock. We don't really make these kinds of films anymore. Got your attention? Don't disappoint me,